Hey everybody, I'm Laura and we are currently in the middle of a summertime series on Canva apps. We have another one for you. Canva has so many, it was really hard to choose which ones. We've got 10 videos, but I think there's 13 apps in total across those 10 videos. So let's head over to my desktop and we will have a look at the next one in the list which is Typecraft. I love Typecraft. You may have seen this on social media because it is such a fantastic app that has been incorporated into Canva and that is what we're going to look at today. Right, so here we go. We're on my desktop. I'm going to head over to the app section. You know it's on the left-hand side and Typecraft into, type Typecraft into the search box. It's this one here, the purple one. I'm going to show you how to use this. You've probably seen this on social media because it's a brilliant app. I'm going to use it in a new design. I'm going to use Instagram just because, again, I get my lovely square. On the left-hand side, it will change to the features for Typecraft. And the very first box is where we type in our text. I'm going to stick with hello. Ooh. That's gone backwards. Going to stick with hello. It does matter if you use uppercase or lowercase. So do remember you do need to make sure it's uppercase or lowercase. You can change your font. But first of all, I'll scroll down to the bottom and it's changed the text box here to hello. I'm going to change the font to something a little bit more fun because that's quite a boring one. What about H and one, two, three? I'm going to click the box. And it will change the font here. Let's find something else. This is quite a nice one. Bauhaus Bold 123. That's quite funky. I, I like that one. Let's go with that one. Okay. So next it gives, just gives us three styles. So no style, just full block color. Unfilled. So you just get the outline. And you can change the color of that or outline with a filled in side. Okay, so you get to choose two colors. I'm gonna have that one because that's the most fun. Let's go for a couple of really wacky colors. So nice and yellow on the inside. You can just, you can see just here, it's changing it for me. And on the outside, uh, let's go for a nice blue. Border width is the actual outside blue border that I've created so I can have it a little bit thicker if I want it to and then we've got mirror points so no mirror horizontal mirror or vertical mirror now I'm going to show you let's go with horizontal mirror at the moment and then lastly what we get to do is drag out our font is drag out the the di sorry, the different points of this text. So wherever the dots are, you can drag it out. If I click on no mirror and drag out that top one like I just did, it just pulls the top out. OK, if I click on horizontal and drag that top one out, the bottom one comes with it. So it mirrors what is happening to the top. And again, with vertical, it will mirror what is happening to the top. So you can stretch it out. That's really cool. I like that. And you can do the same with this one. It makes it easier to use these two features, horizontal and vertical. Because if you have it on none, and you want to stretch that one out, and then you want to stretch this one out as well, it's difficult to get it exactly the same. So if you have got, this option, these options, use them because I can now do this and it's the same top and bottom. If I click no mirror, I'll just drag that one over a bit because I changed it before. Go back to this one, drag it out a little bit more. So you start to get, I can make it chunkier in the middle if I want. Let's bring this one down a little bit so it matches that side. No mirror. I'll just pull that one down. Because I changed the, that side before using the vertical one, it just went slightly out of sync. So now I have this really funky text.
I like this. This is really fun. You can see what you can do with it. You can change the colors. You can change the font. And now you can change the actual text itself. I can twist it upside down if I wanted to. Have a good play with this because it's a really fun one. You can take out the edges, make it more bow tie like, for example. And once you are finished, once you are happy <laughs> with your design that you've been playing with, I'm going to bring them back in a little bit like that. There we go. We'll just have something like that going on here. Um, once you have finished playing with your design and you're happy with it, you click add element to design and it will add it into your design. Now you can really see what you have done. And you have this really funky, odd text feature. If you want to edit it, click on it and your options will appear on the left hand side. So you can change it if you think to yourself, oh, actually, it's not it's not very good. I do or I do want to bend it up here. Um, I can do that at the moment. I'm on no mirror, so I can do this manually. And then click update design and it updates it for you. So I wanted to change the colors to green and red, really random color combination there. Update element and it will change it for me. You can change the text as well. If you don't like the text, you can change the font. You can change everything even after you've created it. So this is a really fun one. And I know if you've seen where people have got um, shapes like a banana and they've written banana in the shape and they added a banana end on either side of it. So it looks like the word banana is written in the shape of the banana. So you can do things like that. If you add an image into your design, you can then follow the curvature of your image as well. So do have a play with this. This is a really fun one. It's called Typecraft. It's in the app section in Canva and it's really good fun. So please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you get access to all of my fun videos. I love creating different videos for business owners to be able to do all sorts of things in Canva for their business. And I would love to see what you create with this one. So don't forget, come over to my Facebook group, Create on Canva and pop your designs in there. Come and join us. It's a fun community. That's it from me. I would love to see what you create with this.